so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are discussing how to get started with context engineering how to context engineer before prompting to an llm so this is a new term that andrej karpati has quoted quite recently and he has mentioned that he is preferring context engineering over prompt engineering so in the previous tutorials i have already covered the difference between context engineering versus prompt engineering wipe coding system prompting and what not but this is more of a practical tutorial where i would be showing you how to engineer your context so let's get started first of all giving you a brief what is context engineering and how it is different from prompting prompting is when you are asking a model to do something while in context engineering when you prepare everything the model might need before asking only that's the right question so generic responses are like toast with no butter it's just plain right it's it's not fancy it will give you a very generic answer but if you go with context engineering you would be getting very specified answer according to your needs so know what you actually want the first step of context engineering is to bring in your head what actually you want to have like instead of giving this prompt write a recipe you can try write a vegan jackfruit recipe that sounds like a friend texting you at 11 am on a sunday this is just adding more information right so write a recipe will give you a very generic answer but when you are providing more context more information it will give you a better answer be specific about the tone the purpose and the audience i think this is very important this is the first step of engineering your context the next one is giving the right information who is the model pretending to be is it a chef is it a teacher is it a friend what it is right now who it is talking to is it talking to beginners experts children so depending upon that the language would be used any rules to consider like it should not cross 80 words or it should not use fuzzy language it should not have certain language being coming in the answer any rules you want the model to follow any examples sample tone style format etc the model doesn't know anything until you tell it do remember this even the basic of the things it doesn't know if you don't say keep it under 30 minutes it won't right so don't think that if i if this is in my head eventually it will also think like that it won't arrange the input properly i think this is the one of the most important steps which factor should come first which factor should come next that is very important an effective structure as they have mentioned is role or voice facts or rules what must be included example and then the prompt as they say the most important stuff should come near the bottom towards the end of the prompt because gpt pays more attention to what's closer to the end ordering matters a lot right so whatever information you want to feed in the context the structuring is very very crucial now keep it tight every model as you know has a token limit it can't intake unlimited amount of information hence the information that you are providing should be highly crisp right don't explain th explain things twice avoid general greetings ki hey this is chat gpt this is your user not required remove anything that doesn't help the model to do the job if you read the passage just understand that what is fluffy and try to remove that this is how context engineering should be done be clear and literal think of gpt uh, gpt like an intern if you are vague it plays safe if you are clear it gets you right it's a smart but a new intern only it 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 behaves like an intern right it knows things but it plays safe for example a vague prompt can be make it fun while a clear prompt can be write in a playful tone with pop culture references and occasional puns like you're explaining to a friend over coffee a vague prompt can be keep it short a clear prompt can be limit to three paragraphs with more, no more than three sentences each keep it short what is the definition of short your definition of short can be different from the definition of short for the llm try to think in that way so be objective rather than subjective now let's look into a couple of examples one is getting a jackfruit recipe another is an ai automation blog right so the goal is to have a fun quick vegan recipe using jackfruit a basic prompt would look like give me a jackfruit recipe right it's 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 a safe one 
you will getting a very generic answer boring no personality while when you are at context engineering it you are a casual vegan food blogger with a playful tone main ingredients jackfruit time under 30 minutes example tone drain the jackfruit no seriously that brines in nasty you are telling in the playful tone right write a full recipe in that tone and format then comes the final prompt so look at the basic prompt and look at the context engineer prompt you yourself would think yes the answer in the second case would be way better not talking about the second example that is ai automation blog write a blog on ai and automation risk generic full of words no real opinion it would be a very generic answer you would be getting while an context engineered version would be you are a mid career software engineer writing for peers experienced devs who are curious but cautious about llms example tone you are giving and then giving a final prompt write a 700 word blog post right so you can clearly see the difference between the basic prompting and when you do a context engineering for the same prompt now how to come up with the context how did i understand that okay for this use case i the context should get designed like this the first question is ask yourself if i were writing this myself what would i need right if your manager asks you to write a blog on ai okay then you would be asking some back questions right okay how long the blog is should i keep it casual or should i keep it completely formal etc etc whatever you would require gpt also requires the same thing imagine the end results you would enjoy work backwards from that ideal outcome write one example i think adding examples in prompts takes your llms to another heights in the output feed the model the same signals you would need yourself right real examples of context creation so in the previous two cases that we are uh, talked about for cooking recipe started with what kind of recipe would i enjoy reading right if someone is just outputting some text that is quite generic no masala coming into it you won't enjoy it imagine something friendly fast not too polished work backwards casual tone beginner audience add specific details about draining jackfruits so this is how the context for cooking recipe was created similarly for ai blog imagine the reader a tired engineer skeptical of ai hype your audience is very important to identify for whom you are catering the output framed it as a chat between experienced developer gave a clear role mid career dev with humor added a joke requirement to force less formal writing so these are the things how the context for the two examples was created and what is the basic framework to follow to create examples so how should you do it add an example to your prompt rewrite it to change the tone give a description of the audience remove extra words to save space this is a basic one you might be doing all this how to improvise on that think like you are writing for someone don't just say make it fun show what fun looks like so whenever you are asking it okay uh, write in a playful tone what is a playful tone give it an example always assume the model needs clear direction don't assume model knows it so don't go with any assumptions with the model whatever you tell it it is its knowledge now so you have already done something some context engineering in this complete tutorial i would suggest you to try out a new example with chat gpt see the difference and then let me know in the comment section how you feel about it thank you